Hey everybody, this is James once again from the Wall Street Minute, standing sort of in front of 26 Broadway in front of the Charging Bull. Uh, and of course, well, you know what that means, that means we're going to talk about oil. Uh, as many of you know have watched these videos for a while, I have been an oil bull for the last couple of years. I am still an oil bull. Uh, oil has started to make a big move recently and even Goldman Sachs has raised their targets back up to the $100 a barrel price range. Uh, interesting, Goldman is also saying that it probably is not going to really have an adverse effect on economic growth, which I thought that's kind of interesting. Uh, what do I see is going on? Every time in past history we've focused on alternative energy, uh, the net outcome is that oil prices have gone up. What do I think about energy? I think you need the whole package. I think you need oil, nuclear, natural gas, uh, coal, you know, everything all together. I don't think it's a one-off deal where we can have one or the other. Uh, and I really don't buy this whole climate change argument. Uh, frankly, I still think it's a really, it's really good marketing. I do think we have to be careful about the environment. Uh, but if, you, you're a, if you're of any, any kind of a student of history, you know that uh, climate has changed dramatically uh, over the over decades, uh, gotten warmer, gotten colder. Uh, there's many examples of it. For example, many people don't know that the Vikings grew grapes in Greenland when they landed there. Uh, I would say it would be pretty hard to grow grapes there right now. Anyway, this is James once again from the Wall Street Minute. Uh, in front of the Charging Bull, in front of 26 Broadway, the former home of John D. Rockefeller and Standard Oil. Uh, say hello, leave comments, and of course, subscribe to these videos.